Hello, Joe Yuhan here. We're going to talk through one more video stride example, uh, real life example looking at knee alignment. And we just showed you one of my um, former athletes and clients who is a sprinter. I think it's kind of worth looking at sprinting because it's exactly like distance running, but it's the extreme speed. And so you're more likely to see, especially at an elite level, um, significant, um, significantly good knee alignment, but also some of the kind of rules of thumb that we've been talking about. And so what I like to pull up first, this is something that I share with my clients. And then, so this is Kip Chogi at the end of his sub two um, marathon attempt. And so again, what we're looking for in the ideal is this straight-ish but angled line. And so he is so knee out that you can actually see there's an actual slightly outward angled and a significant amount of, of space between the knees. And that's really sort of the ideal when we talk about knee alignment, especially versus what we see with a lot of runners where the knee is buckling in and there's no daylight here, um, as with my last client. And so I like to show this clip. This is from the 2016 um, Olympic trials final. And let's see if we can make this big. And we're going to see about playing it slow. And so, again, I think when you watch, um, when you do kind of stride analysis, you want to watch the very best in the world. You can be in the top 2% or even 1% and not necessarily have um, – the best mechanics, but it's the 0.1%. It's the Olympians and the Olympic champions who tend to show us the best things. And so most of these women, they're in the finals and, and they're amongst the best in the world. So I want you, you guys to kind of watch this as this kind of plays out. And so especially this woman in lane four, you can see there is a significant amount of spacing. And the, the two things that I really like Number one, you see spacing here. Number one, you look at the stride width of these women. There is no crossover. It's not even close. They're not staggering, but they're landing directly underneath their body. There's no crossover because a crossover is lost energy. So let's watch a little bit more as they finish. So we get the best look at, at the runner in lane four, landing right underneath. Nice knee alignment landing right underneath time and time again. And I don't remember if she won or if the woman in, in lane five, but those are the two fastest runners going into the finals. And they had um, concurrently the best knee alignment of all of them. 